Raiders are in behind the gate, race number one. Tahuya Riverdance, Mark Haig, Villa Max, Ed Harvey, Ashby Corner, Todd Trites, Breeze Hanover, Stacy Gay, Yankee Dancer with Stephen Trites, the outside for DG's Crosby, and Phil Reed. Here they come. They're off and pacing. Breeze Hanover from the middle of the track is looking for a good early spot, but the leader heading into the turn is going to be Villa Max. Villa Max leads it. Breeze Hanover second, and then Tahuya Riverdance is into third. Now moving to the front, Breeze Hanover gets that early position and now leads it by two and a half quickly as they head down the back stretch for the opening quarter. Breeze Hanover and moving in second, Villa Max. Then Tahuya River Dance is third. Racing in fourth, it is Yankee Dancer, and they were by the quarter in 31 seconds as they go on round the turn for the first time, and they're moving towards the three-eighths now. The leader continues to be Breeze Hanover with Stacy Gay. Villa Max is in second. Tahuya River Dance third as they come down the stretch for the opening half-mile marker. Racing in fourth now, it is Yankee Dancer moving with cover on the outside. Then it is Ashby Corner and the trailer DG's Crosby past the half in 102 and 2. On their way to the 5 8 Three on the inside, three outside as they come on round the turn. A note from the judges to hold all tickets, please, ladies and gentlemen. Hold all tickets until the official result has been given. Down the back stretch for the final time. Tahuya River Dance shows a nose in front. Up on the inside it is Stacy Gay right there with Breeze Hanover as they go on round the turn and they're past three quarters now. Tahuya River Dance chased by Yankee Dancer. Then it is Breeze Hanover in third, three quarters. 133 and 2. As they come off the top of the turn, they are still in a bunch. As they come down the stretch and pass 7 eighths, it is Yankee Dancer on top. Tahuya River Dance is looking to make the move on the outside. As they come for the line, Yankee Dancer got the win. Over Tahuya River Dance and the time for the mile, 204 and 1. The placing, the number five, first placed third as a result of interference caused on the number six just past the three-eighths pole. Here's your winner of the race, number one, Tahuya Riverdance, scoring in the ACOT construction pace. Mark Haig, your winning driver aboard the eight-year-old son of Usher Hanover. Margot Fisher co-owns and trains, also owning Barbara and Marshall Goodwin of Fredericton. First win of the year for the eight-year-old veteran. Tahuya River Dance in the ACOT construction pace. Field is in behind the gate for race two. Sponsored by the Cooperators. O.K. Elegant and Mike Downey, Dame Lily, Todd Trites, Coke Can Hall with Ulysses Gallant, B. Ann's Legacy, Sam Hodgen, Nan's Way with Mark Haig, the outside for Million Dollar Jewel and Gordy Hennessy, Trailers Marina Desby with Maxime Godreau and Mackenzie Kate with Phil Reed. Here they come. They're off and pacing. Nan's Way, scooting from an outside position, is up there to challenge for the early lead. And on the go as well, Million Dollar Jewel made a move from an outside position. As they go on round the turn, Bian's Legacy has third now and is on the outside. Then it's OK Elegant making a move for that spot on the cones. Back to Marina Desby in fifth. As they go down the back stretch for the first time, then it is Mackenzie Kate sixth. Along the cones, it is uh, Cocan Hall in seventh and Dame Lily, and they were on by the opening quarter in 32 seconds flat. Rounding the barn turn first time, and it continues to be 
Nan's Way showing the way as they come to the three eighths. Million Dollar Jewel is in second. Up on the outside, first over. That is B. Ann's Legacy as they come in front of us for the first time. OK Elegant fourth. Then it is Marina Desby fifth. Mackenzie Kate moves to the outside from sixth. Then it's Cocan Hall and Dame Lily. They reach the half, 101 and three. On their way to the five-eighths now. It continues to be Nan's way. Up on the outside, gaining a position now at the leader's wheel to challenge its B. Ann's legacy. Up on the outside, coming to third, it is a million dollar jewel and B. Ann's legacy has cleared to the top. B. Ann's legacy, million dollar jewel second. OK Elegant was third, far back, we have a horse down. There is a horse down on the track. Looks like Mackenzie Kate. And so be aware of that, drivers. At the three-quarter pole, there's one down as they come to the 7 8 mile station now. And it continues to be B. Ann's Legacy on top. B. Ann's Legacy and Million Dollar Jewel continues to close up ground on the outside. But B. Ann's Legacy was your winner over Million Dollar Jewel and Marina Desby was in third. Here's your winner of race number two. Second race winner of the Cooperator's Pace. B. Ann's Legacy, victorious in a time of 2.04 and 2. Field is in behind the gate for race three. This dash sponsored by All Seasons Realty and Nelson Flewelling Memorial. Woodmere Sand Dollar with Stephen Trites, the power of Green Ed Harvey, lucky in love with Mike Downey. Do You Believe in Me with Todd Trites, Armbro Comet, Gordy Hennessy, Lira Lira on the outside for Wayne Watson. Here they come and away they go. On the outside, Armbro Comet is digging in for an early forward position. But on the cones and on the go, Woodmere Sandaller is picking them up and putting them down as they go for the opening eighth mile marker. Armbro Comet now to challenge for the front. The power of Grin is racing in a third. Then it is Do You Believe in Me fourth. Moving in fifth, Lira Lira and Lucky in Love is the trailer as they go on for the opening quarter. And on top and cutting it out, Woodmere Sandollar showing the way. Racing in second, Armbro Comet. Then it's the power of Grin in third. They were by the quarter in 31 and one. On round the turn, moving in fourth, do you believe in me? Lira Lira comes to the outside from fifth. Lucky in Love is sixth. Off the top of the turn and they move in front of us for the first time on their way to the half. Woodmere Sandollar shows the way. On the outside, first up, it's the power of Grin. Moving in third, Armbro Comet and Lira Lira has fourth. The half was reached in 101 and one. Moving in fifth, do you believe in me? And Lucky in Love is sixth. To the five eights, now they go. And on top it is Woodmere Sandollar. Armbro Comet continues to occupy second spot. Racing in third. That is the power of Green. A three wide move on the outside from Lira Lira to the three quarters. Then it's Do You Believe in Me? And a Lucky in Love. The three quarters was reached in 133 and three. Woodmere Sandollar extending that lead up front as they come on round the turn. Moving in second, Armbro Comet. Then the power of Green and Lira Lira. Closer fifth is Do You Believe in Me? Coming down the stretch for the wire, Woodmere Sandollar enjoying the footing tonight. 
Woodmere Sandollar and Stephen Trites, your winner here in the third, over Armbro Comet and Do You Believe in Me? Closed quickly to pick up the show. The time for the mile, 2.04. Ladies and gentlemen, our thanks to those from Century 21 All Seasons Realty observing the Nelson Flewelling Memorial here in race number three. Your winner is Widmere Sandollar, owned by Beverly Trites of Fredericton, trained by Sheldon Watts, and Stephen Trites is the winning driver. Driving the mare that took her lifetime record right here at Connell Park Raceway just two years ago. Woodmere Sandollar pacing in 204 here in the third. Congratulations, Sheldon Watts, Beverly, and Stephen Trites with Woodmere Sandollar. In behind the gate in the Tom Everett Memorial here in race number four. Field of six with contact Jones and Sam Hodgen. Man in pink, Mark Haig. Flag of Honor, Maxime Godreau. Rockstar Bayama, Wayne Watson. Seven signs with Ed Harvey. The outside six, it's Miss Paula D and Scott Hubbard. Here they come. They're off and pacing. Flag of Honor is on the move from the middle of the gate as they go on around the turn. And they make that turn for the opening eighth with Flag of Honor. Three wide on the outside is Rockstar Bayama. That one looking for a seat. And moving in third at this point, it is Man in Pink as they go on down the back stretch. Rockstar Bayama looking for the front now. He will move on to the lead. Flag of Honor second. Then it is Man in Pink in third. Racing in the fourth. Contact Jones. Seven signs is fifth and Miss Paula D. And the quarter was 30 and one. On round the barn turn for the first time. On their way to the three eighths now. And Rockstar Bayama tries to get a little breather in this quarter as they come in front of us for the first time for the half. Rockstar Bayama, flag of honor, moving to the outside now. It is Man in Pink up there to challenge that leader. Miss Paula D is fourth. Racing in fifth, contact Jones and the trailer seven signs. They were by the half. One minute. Two fifths on their way to the five eighths. Rockstar Bayama is your leader by a half length now as they come to the back stretch for the final time. Rockstar Bayama moving in second. Man in pink is right there. Those two leaders duking it out on their way to the three quarter mile. On their way for three quarters and up and moving to third. It's Miss Paula D. Then. It is Flag of Honor in fourth, and they were by three quarters in 132 and one. Rockstar Bayama, man in pink. Man in pink now to the front. It is man in pink with inside of an eighth of a mile to go. On the outside up there to challenge, it's Miss Paula D. And man in pink trying to fend off Miss Paula D. Furthest outside contact, Jones coming to the line. Very close, either contact Jones or Miss Paula D. And the time for the mile, 2.03 and 2. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner in race number 4, capturing the Tom Everett Memorial here at Connell Park Raceway. It's number 1 Contact Jones. Owned and trained by Chester Eatman of Burt's Corner. Second win of the season for this 6-year-old gelding by Intrepid Sealster from the Abercrombie mare, Little White Lies. Catch driver tonight. Getting this horse to victory, Sam Hodgen. Congratulations, Chester and Sam.
Number one, Contact Jones, 203 and two, here in race number four. Field is in behind the gate for the Premier's Pace here in race number five. Ryan's Fancy, Scott Hubbard, Full of Finesse, Todd Trites, Meadowland Griffey, Stephen Trites, Royal Putnam, Mark Grant, One Wild Knight, Ed Harvey, Provoke Me on the Outside, Gordy Hennessy, Trailing Horses, Windermere Nick, Mark Haig, Basin View Brad, Wayne Watson, and here they come. They're off and a pacing in the Premier's Pace here at Connell Park Raceway. And on the outside, Royal Putnam is moving quickly. On the cones, that's Ryan's Fancy with the lead. And Royal Putnam comes to second position as they go down the back stretch for the first time. And they're on their way to the quarter. Moving in third, using that trailing post to his advantage. It is a Windermere Nick now third. Racing in fourth, up on the outside, Provoke Me. Then in fifth, it is a Meadowland Griffey. And they're on by the opening quarter mile marker. On their way around the burn turn for the first time, Royal Putnam leads it. They were by that marker 31 and two. Royal Putnam is on the lead as they come around the turn and they will move in front of us for the first time. Provoke Me now has come to second on the outside quickly as they go for the opening half. Racing in third, Ryan's Fancy now. Then it is. Windermere Nick in fourth, driving fifth full of finesse. Then it is Basin View Brad, racing in seventh in along the cones. That is Meadowland Griffey and the trailer. As they go on around the turn was one wild night. They were by the half in 101. Down the back stretch for the final time and continuing to lead it. Royal Putnam, three wide move up on the outside and quickly driving. Into second now, it is Windermere Nick. Windermere Nick trying to show a nose in front against Royal Putnam. As they go round the turn, moving in third position, it's Ryan's Fancy now. And then Full of Finesse has fourth, three quarters, 133 and one. Inside of an eighth of a mile left to go. It continues to be Royal Putnam digging in. He's been up front. All the way as they come for the line, Royal Putnam and Mark Grant has got it. Very close for the place. That was either Meadowland Griffey or Windermere Nick. Very close for the place spot. Time for the mile, 204 and 1. Prating back. Here in front of the grandstand this evening, ladies and gentlemen, your winner of the Premier's Pace, race number five, number four, Royal Putnam. Great to have Miss New Brunswick on hand to represent the Premier, David Allward, for this evening's cooler presentation. Mark Grant, the winning driver here in this spot for the five-year-old gelding, a son of Southwind Balsam. Ron Fowley of Quispam Sis, Megan Fowley of New Maryland are the owners. No, okay. It's the first win in only the third start of the year for number four, Royal Putnam. Full field of eight getting set. Boobro Bashful with Lonnie Stokes. Set Neuf Cat, Maxime Gaudreau. American Jet, Pierre Lucroy. Same old story with Phil Reed. Big Brown Ben, Wayne Watson. Simply Divine, Gordy Hennessy. Battle Gear with Stephen Trites. And the Viking Prince with Todd Trites. They're at the head of the stretch. Here they come. They're off and pacing. Boo Bro Bashful in along the cones is going to use that Inside post to his advantage as they go around the turn. And making a move, Setniff Cat is on the outside looking to be forwardly placed. We had an off-stride horse further back. Off-stride went American Jet as they go on down the back stretch for the opening quarter. Continuing to cut it out. 
That is a Boo Bro Bashful. Moving in second, Battle Gear is right there. And on the outside, a challenger in the form of Simply Divine. As they go on round the turn, and they were on past the opening quarter in 32 and 1, and they move round that barn turn for the first time. Moving in front of us on their way to the half as they pass 3 8 and that leader continues to be Boo Bro Bashful. Second in along the cones is Battle Gear. Then racing third, Set Nuff Cat. Moving up fourth, it is Simply Divine with the cover. Racing in fifth is the Viking Prince. They were past the half in 101 and 1. Going on to the 5 8s now. And it continues to be your leader, up front, Boo Bro Bashful. Moving in second with an eye to the outside. Battle Gear drops the gloves and moves on to a point where he can challenge now to the three quarters. It is Boo Bro Bashful. Battle Gear, three wide move up on the outside now. Another challenger is thrown into the mix. As they go on round the turn, three quarters was in 32 and one. And an off stride horse now that was Simply Divine. Simply Divine off stride. Just over an eighth of a mile left to go with Boo Bro Bashful and Battle Gear. Those two continue. Battle Gear has now come to the front. The Viking Prince on the outside to challenge quickly. But Battle Gear got it over the Viking Prince. And Big Brown Ben got the show position. The time for that mile, 2.03 and 3. Here is your winner of race number six. Number seven, Battle Gear for owner Weldon Briggs of Woodstock. He picks up the victory with the Scotiabank pace. Driver Stephen Trites is victorious for the second time. 2.03 and 3, the time for the mile. Battle Gear, four year old son of Gear to Gear from the Life Sign Mayor, Ms. Soprano. First win of the season from only six starts so far. Again, thanks so much to Scotiabank for participating in Old Home Week Racing. Field is in behind the gate for the Connell Chrysler Valley Honda Pace here in race seven. I wish, I wish with Scott Hubbard. Fun on a star, Gordy Hennessy. My Bright Penny, Mike Campbell. New Coast Typhoon, Sam Hodgen. Ultimate Spirit, Mark Haig. Edgewater Shadowfax, Lonnie Stokes. March past the trailer for Wayne Watson. Here they come. They're off fan pacing. Ultimate Spirit is on the move, going for and grabbing the early lead on the way to the eighth. Ultimate Spirit will take them on round that turn as they go for that eighth mile marker. And racing in a second is I Wish, I Wish. On the outside, Fun on a Star was looking for a better spot and now looks for a seat in behind. That is March past in fourth. Racing in fifth is uh, Ultimate Spirit, then My Bright Penny, and the trailer is New Coast Typhoon. They reach the quarter in 31 seconds. On round the barn turn for the first time. And on top and cutting it out as they move in front of us for the opening half mile station. Pacing that down the stretch for the half and your leader coming towards us. It is Ultimate Spirit. Ultimate Spirit the leader. 
Fun on a star. Make that I wish, I wish in second. And they were by the half in 101 and 1. Racing on for the 5 eighths. Ultimate spirit. I wish, I wish. Moving third on the outside. That is Edgewater Shadow Fax. Three wide move from the rear of the field. Big move. My bright penny is on the go. My bright penny quickly up there to put a nose in front on the outside. And she will cruise on to the front. My bright penny over ultimate spirit now. Three quarters in 131 and two. My bright penny now leads it by four. And that lead is extending as they get moving across the seven eight mile station. My bright penny is leading them home. And the mayor has checked out on the rest of this field as they come for the line. My bright penny, your winner over ultimate spirit close for the show but i wish i wish got it over edgewater shadow facts the time for the mile 202 and 1 Ladies and gentlemen, now parading back in front of the grandstand, it's your winner of race number seven, number three, My Bright Penny. Big move on the outside down the backstretch to get the win here in the seventh race. It's sponsored by Connell Chrysler. And our friends at Valley Honda as well. Mike Campbell, the winning owner, trainer, and driver with the seven-year-old mare. Third win of the season for My Bright Penny. And it comes this evening in a finish time of 2.02 and 1. Mike Campbell, My Bright Penny, the winning team here in the seventh race. Starters are in behind the gate for the eighth. Casimir Luciano and Maxime Godreau, Paladale and Gordy Hennessy, Chilled Wine, Todd Trites, Paris Knight, Ivan Davies, Maiden Paris, Mark Haig, Cocan River Boy, Ulysses Gallant, Golden Opportunity, and Phil Reed. Here they come, and away they go. Paris Knight is looking for a forward position as they go on for the opening eighth mile station. Also on the go is Casimir Luciano, and he'll take them to the opening eighth mile marker. Casimir Luciano shows the way. As they go on around the turn, Paladale is second, then moving in third, it's Paris Knight. As they go down the backstretch for the first time, Golden Opportunity is next, and they go for the opening quarter mile marker, and now two leaders battling for the front. They were by the opening quarter in 31 seconds. On round the turn they go for the three-eighths now. And moving in front of us on their way to the half. Those two leaders continue to battle as they come in front of us for the half-mile station, clearing to the front. It's Paris Knight. Paris Knight is your leader. Then Chilled Wine. In along the cones, it is Casimir Luciano. And then... Moving in fourth, that was golden opportunity. As they go around the turn, the half was a minute and one-fifth. They were going to five-eighths now. And on the outside, looking to take over top spot, it is Chilled Wine. Chilled Wine, now your leader by a half. Three wide move from Casimir Luciano on the outside. Paris Knight on the cones trying to fend off two challengers now. And they go on past three quarters in 130 and two fifths. On round that turn, continuing three wide. It is Paris Knight coming back in along the cones. Paris Knight and Chilled Wine looking to come to the front. 
as they're in front of us on their way to the payoff. Chilled wine on top as they come for the wire. Chilled wine, your winner. Over Paris Knight. And in for third was made in Paris. And the time for that mile, 2.01 and 2. The town of Woodstock Pace goes to number three, Chilled Wine. Five-year-old daughter of Neutralize. From the No Nukes Mayor Josie Plumstead. Owned and trained by Clark Bustard of Elmwood. Bred by James Clough of Woodstock. And catch driven to victory tonight by Todd Trites. First win of this season for the five-year-old. In a time of 201 and 2. Number three, Chilled Wine and Todd Trites. Field is in behind the gate for the ninth. The Eagles Nest pace here in race nine. Rackland Fine Line, Wayne Watson, Meter Leader, Gordy Hennessy, EF Fantasia, Todd Trites, Veronica Vermillion, Maxime Godreau, Mr. Shankopotamus, Ed Harvey, Night Talker, Mike Downey, Ideal Ticket, Mark Haig, and Hot Shot Mindale, Stephen Trites. Here they come. Off stride on the inside went Rackland Fine Line. Rackland Fine Line was off stride as they left the gate. And as they go on around the turn, we've got horses three wide. And on the move, Mr. Shankopotamus is three wide out there. Racing to the top at this stage is EF Fantasia. EF Fantasia, the leader. Mr. Shankopotamus on the outside in second. Then racing in third as they go on past the opening quarter. And that quarter time was in 31 seconds. They go on around the turn and EF Fantasia continues to show the way. Mr. Shankopotamus is in second. As they come off the top of the turn, they'll pace down the stretch for the half mile marker. And EF Fantasia is still up by two over Mr. Shankopotamus. That horse on the outside making a move it is Meter Leader. Meter Leader is third, racing in fourth. That is Ideal Ticket, and they reach the half in a minute and two-fifths. On round the turn, EF Fantasia, Mr. Shankopotamus in second. That is Gordy Hennessy on the go with Meter Leader third on the outside as they head down the back stretch for the final time. EF Fantasia continuing to be strong up front. Mr. Shankopotamus second. Meter leader is third. Moving up fourth now. Night Talker. As they come past three quarters, they were by that marker in 131 and 1. EF Fantasia still looking good up front. Mr. Shankopotamus second. Night Talker has come to third and along the cones. And they reach the 7 eighths and pace down the stretch for home. Moving to the front. It is EF Fantasia cutting all the numbers in this one. EF Fantasia victorious over Mr. Shankopotamus and Night Talker got the show. Time for the mile, 2.01, last quarter, 29 and four. Here is your winner of race number nine. The Eagle's Nest pace goes to number three, EF Fantasia.
Bred, owned, and trained by Raymond Francoeur of Nouvelle-Québec. A number of horses from La Belle Province here this evening, and we're thankful for their support here the, tonight. Six-year-old daughter of Nittany Hanover from the Survivor Gold Mare Under Sky Shake and Bake. Todd Trites is the winning driver. It's the sixth, make that second win this season from five starts. The mayor took a record at Fredericton last year of 157 and 1. Here at Connell Park tonight over the off track, 201, the time for the mile. Congratulations. EF Fantasia, Raymond Francoeur, and Todd Trites here in this ninth race. Field is in behind the gate for the AgCon contracting M&A Automotive Pace during Old Home Week. Cass Hall, Ed Harvey, Eloquent Desire, Lonnie Stokes, Ace on the River, Scott Hubbard, After Lunch, Larry, Gordy Hennessy, Dance Hanover, Stephen Trites, Choco du Ruisseau with Mark Haig, Magical Alex, Todd Trites, and Deuce Man with Maxime Godreau, and here they come. They're off and pacing. Ace on the River looks for... A good spot in the early going. Cass Hall is going to try to prevent that from happening. And Cass Hall quickly off the wings. That one takes over as they go on past the eighth mile marker. And they're heading down the back stretch for the first time with Cass Hall and Ace on the River in along the cones now in second. After lunch, Larry is third. Racing in fourth. That is Magical Alex as they go on down the back stretch for that quarter mile marker. And in Fifth is Eloquent Desire. Then it's Deuce Man. As they go on round that turn, and the quarter was in 30 seconds. As they move to the 3 8 mile station, they will move in front of us for the first time on their way to the half and on top and cutting it out. That is uh, Cass Hall. Cass Hall leads it ace on the river in second. Up on the outside, Never getting to the cones after lunch. Larry continues to advance in third. Three quarters was 59 and two. Cass Hall, after lunch, Larry comes to second. Ace on the river with no place to go from third. Racing in fourth, up on the outside. Looks like Dance Hanover getting rolling and now moving three wide as they go on past the three quarter mile station. Cass Hall continues to lead it as they go past that turn, three quarters in 130 and two. On round the burn turn, final time. Cass Hall and up on the outside, Dance Hanover to challenge as they move for seven eighths. Inside of an eighth of a mile left to go. Dance Hanover to the outside and now taking over command as they come for the line. Dance Hanover got it. Over Cass Hall and ace on the river the time for that mile 158 three fifths parading back parading back with his third winner of the night driver Stephen Trites has five, Dance Hanover. Winner of the AgCon contracting, m and Automotive Pace. Dance Hanover is owned by the Ultimate Stable of Greater Lake Burn. Trained by Sifroa Melanson. Ten-year-old gelding by Estreos from the top notcher mare. Drop your riggin'. Third victory of the year from only 11 starts. And she, he picks up the win tonight in a time of 158 and 3. Stephen Trites with Dance Hanover for the ultimate stable. All set in behind the gate. 
$4,000 on the line, a field of five talented pacers in this edition of the Kelty Burnett Memorial. American captain with Mike Campbell, Nakai Hanover, Mark Webby. Golden Vanity, Pierre Lucroy, man racing Joe with Lonnie Stokes. Outside for Joseph Michael and Todd Trites. Here they come. They're off and pacing. In between horses, Nakai Hanover is going to give it a go in the early stages. He's up against American Captain. That one is used as inside position to his advantage. As those two go on around the turn, Nakai Hanover wants the front, and he's got it. Heading down the backstretch for the first time. Nakai Hanover and American Captain are one, two. Racing in third and along the cones, it's Joseph Michael. Then up next, Man Racing Joe and the trailer. It is Golden Vanity as they go on by the quarter. They were by that marker in 28 and one. Nakai Hanover showing the way. He's up by two as they come past the 3 8 mile marker. And coming in front of us for the half mile station, it is Nakai Hanover, American Captain second, Joseph Michael. Then it is Golden Vanity in fourth, and Man Racing Joe, the trailer. They were by the half in 57 and one fifth. On their way to the 5 eighths now. And it continues to be Mark Webby with Nakai Hanover on the point. American Captain is second, Joseph Michael. Then it is Golden Vanity fourth, and that is Man Race and Joe trailing as they head down the backside. Final time, exiting the pocket. Mike Campbell thinks it's time to make a move with American Captain. On the inside, Nakai Hanover. Joseph Michael is positioned perfectly as they come around the turn. He's watching those two leaders battle and now thinks about tipping out three wide. Three quarters, 127. One fifth coming down the stretch for home. Nakai Hanover, Joseph Michael. Joseph Michael comes to the line. Trites has done it again. It's Joseph Michael, the winner. Looking good for second. Golden Vanity got up there. Maybe American Captain third, the time for the mile. 157. One fifth. Here comes your 2013 winner of the Kelty Burnett Memorial Pace, number five, Joseph Michael. Six-year-old son of Jenna's Beach Boy from the Dexter Nukes Mayor, Jay Dexter, owned by Capital A Investments and Valerie Phelan of New Brunswick, trained by Eric Wilson, he comes back across the state lines in order to get this victory and good to have him home a six-time winner this year and 34 victories in his career this one coming in a time of 157 and one third winner on the card for driver todd trites tonight and a big effort coming from off the pace well positioned at three quarters and he gets a big win an important one here in the Kelty Burnett Memorial Page.